Today we're going to be taking a look at this new modular robotics kit called UGOT. It's been developed by a company called UBTech, who already have quite a few products in the robotics space, particularly humanoid robots like the UBTech Walker, and some educational kits. But they also have a number of commercial robots available as well. The UGOT robotics kit is currently being launched on Kickstarter, and I think it's going to be quite a popular product. UBTech have sent me an early version of the UGOT kit, which looks like this. It's an assortment of motors, joints, sensors and cables which connect to a central controller to build a number of different robots. At this stage, the kit includes the parts to build 7 different robots, but from their webpage, they clearly plan on expanding this to include drone-style robots with a propeller kit and a two-legged walking robot. You're also not just limited to the robots that come with the kit, the entire system is wirelessly programmable through the online platform called UCode, and you can drag and drop blocks to add functionality to existing robots, or even create your own robots from scratch. We'll start by taking a look at the hardware and some of the included parts, and we'll then look at the software available. On the hardware side, let's start with the controller or brain of the robot. This is a computer with a range of ports around the edges. It's got a connector for the battery on the back, and a 2.4 inch LCD touch display on the front. It's also got a quad core ARM Cortex A55 CPU running at 1.8 GHz, 4 GB of LPDDR4 RAM, and 32 GB of eMMC storage. That's coupled with an integrated GPU, NPU, and motion sensor system, which includes a 3 axis accelerometer, 3 axis gyroscope, and 3 axis geomagnetic sensor. It's also got RGB LEDs, a 3 microphone array, and a speaker. To power the controller, we've got a 2600mAh 11.1V lithium ion battery pack. This gives the system an operating time of around 2.5 hours. To give the controller a sense of its surroundings, we've got an included 720p camera module and a distance sensor. Through software, the camera can be used to recognize things like gestures, movements, signs, and even QR codes. The distance sensor obviously measures the distance to surrounding objects. Then to actuate the wheels and form the joints, we've got a couple of different motors. The blue ones are continuous rotation motors, which are used for things like wheels. And then the orange ones are servo motors, which are used to actuate joints. These have higher torque and lower speed compared to the continuous motors, but also have position feedback through a magnetic encoder. There are also a set of motor dummy pieces. These just act as fixed joints in place of motors for certain robot configurations. The last included actuator is a grabber for the end of a robot arm. Then we've got a number of molded plastic arms, legs, joints and adapters which allow you to connect the motors and sensors to the controller to build the actual robots. These are quite well thought out all locking into place to create quite robust builds. You can knock them around a bit and they still hold up well. Lastly, we've got a pack of cables. These look to be a USB-C style cable with a shroud around them. These connect the motors to the controller. The motors each have two ports on them and they're chainable, so you can pass commands through one motor to another, and a few of the standard designs actually use this feature. So that's an overview of the hardware, now let's take a look at the software. Assembling and programming each robot is done through UCode. This is an online tool that is also shared with their other educational platforms. This gives you step-by-step -step instructions to assemble each robot in the form of a 3D model and parts list. It then takes you to a programming interface. UGOT includes basic programs for each robot preloaded, so you don't have to do any programming to get started. You can simply build the model and then run the program directly from the controller. If you want to add functionality or change the robot's behavior, then you'll do it through block coding or Python in UCode. I've tried building all of the included models and I've run the demo program for each of them. I really enjoyed how easily they go together. There is a bit of tinkering to get the first one assembled, but once you learn how the joints and cables work, changing between the robots is literally a 5 minute exercise.
Let's try put together the wheel and leg robot first, and you can then see how the assembly process works. All of the models start with this main body section. We're going to attach four servo motors to it, and then a bracket for the front camera. We can then add the base plate with some thumb screws to lock it into place. Next we add the battery and the controller. This is one thing I'd like to see them improve upon. It would be great to have this body cage designed in a way that allowed the battery to be swapped out without having to remove the controller. You can charge the battery when it's installed, but it would allow you to keep working on your robot if you could just swap the battery out easily instead. Next we can plug in the cables for the motors. We then add the leg system to each motor, with a continuous rotation motor on the end for the wheel. With that complete, we can do the same on the other side. Then the robot is complete and we can turn it on. We select the model that we've built and then a program to run. The included program extends the legs and keeps it balancing. Now we just need a way to control it. The kit also includes a Bluetooth controller, which we can use to wirelessly control each of the robot's movements. So we can use the controller to raise or lower the body and drive it forwards, backwards or turn it around. As I mentioned earlier, I've built and tried all of the robots, and I found it quite easy to switch between them. I think my two favourites are the one that I built here called the wheel and leg robot and then the engineer vehicle. You can also add functionality to each robot using the drag and drop block coding platform. 
There's a really long list of powerful functions, which include blocks for the particular robot style and blocks for the sensors. You can even use the included camera to recognize text, gestures, codes and colors to add features to your robots. Testing robot vision. Through Ucode, you can see a live feed of the camera on the robot, and they plan to make this available through their mobile app as well. So you should be able to use it as an FPV camera. From their YouTube videos, it looks like the final version of the kit will come with some form of case that houses these three layered inserts, so it should be quite a neat all-in-one kit. So that's my overview of the UGOT platform. This is obviously a pre-production set, so I'd expect the final product may have some changes or improvements, but it looks like it has a lot of potential. As with the other crowdfunded products that I've reviewed, I'd like to finish off with the reminder that crowdfunded projects carry some level of risk, and there's no guarantee that the final product will live up to the promises made in the Kickstarter campaign. UbiTech is an established company with a good history of delivering robotics products, and they've obviously completed their pre-production run, which has allowed me to demonstrate it. From what I've seen, it certainly looks like they've put a lot of time into its development, and the platform is already usable. But that isn't to say that this product isn't without risk. It's not yet a fully fledged retail product. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials, and reviews.